members I have here in Goshen County. So um, with the crown is Kadra Clark. And in the TV is Kylie Carson and Kadra. I'm going to turn it to you and just let you do a quick introduction of yourself. Hi, um, my name is Kadra Clark and I am a 4-H program assistant through the AmeriCorps program. I am a 4-H alumni and currently a student at Chaudron State College and on the rodeo team pursuing a degree in marketing and a minor in textiles and design. Thank you, and Kylie Carson. Hi, I'm Kylie Carson, like Megan said, and I am also part of the AmeriCorps program here in Goshen County, just like Kadra. Um, currently, I am going to school at Elter C. I'll get my uh, agriculture business degree here in about a couple weeks, and then I'll come back home to Goshen County, where I was a 4-H member for a long time, and I'm really excited to be back in the office um, working with our 4-H members this year. So, Kadra, how would you describe the AmeriCorps program for those that are unfamiliar? <clears throat> So the AmeriCorps program is a program for people to make an impact in communities through organizations. So we are um, basically volunteers, but we do get paid um, according to the hours that we complete as well as an educational award. And Kylie, do you wanna talk a little bit more about that financial incentive? So the financial incentive is a little unique. We'll get a living allowance. It is a set amount that is then divided about up, up over the amount of time that we um, are in service. So depending on when you start and when you end will change how much you get paid every time. And then once we're done with our year or however long of service, we'll go ahead and get an educational award. And so that goes directly to whichever school we're choosing and is used to help pay for our tuition. Um, depending on which school you go to, some of those schools will even double that amount. And so you can get twice as much with that um, educational incentive as well. And we've talked a lot about here recently, we've talked a lot about service hours. Um, Kadra, do you wanna talk about those? If I share my screen so you can reference? Yeah, so there are different tiers of hours that range from 300 to 1700. And as you can see, you get a living allowance according to how many hours you work and um, an educational award. Um, so it's based on however many hours you think you can complete um, until the certain date that you have to complete them by. We've been really fortunate here, Kylie um, and Kadra both have been working virtually since uh, Christmas time, about December. Um, and what are some projects, Kylie, that you've been working on? Um, so virtually, I've been helping with the Feathered Friends Poultry Group. And so with that, we've had a couple meetings where we've had some really great guest speakers come in from all over the country and talk on different topics that... Um, we thought it was important that our kids know whether that's meat production or breeds, whatever that is. Um, we have had some really great experts come in and talk to our kiddos. We have a lot of really young new faces that are looking to join our poultry um, project. And it's been really fun to watch those kids interact and learn so much about the poultry industry and the project that they're about to get themselves into. Um, in addition to that, I've also helped with the hippology Zoom meetings. And so both of those have Canvas courses that are uploaded on the University of Wyoming's Canvas website. Um, and those are courses that everyone can enroll in um, with lots of great opportunities, both through the Canvas course and in our Zoom meetings. These kids are um, in for a real treat as they explore these opportunities. And Kadra, you've been working on something similar, but it, for a very different project area. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so I've been doing <coughs> virtual fabric and fashion, where we have gone over topics in fabric and fashion project with people from um, quite a few states. Um, and this is going along with the Wild Learn course that I have been creating using the big fabric and fashion handbook. And I've been creating an interactive and readable resource for the members. Um, as well as virtually, I've been in charge of our social media pages since December, 
and I've used my graphic design skills to create graphics and posts, and we have seen great growth and engagement and page likes since then. And that's been a very big weight off of my shoulders, as I've expressed several times, because um, now I, it's not on my plate anymore. Kadra's taken it over, and she's done a fantastic job. And I think it's important to point out, too, is we... Um, these are two projects that won the um, cadres in the fabric and fashion that was identified as a need by the state 4-H fabric and fashion committee. Um, well, actually it was identified back in 2019, um, but we didn't actually get to work on it until 2020 and then determined um, that there were some fantastic resources in that big white binder um, that kids just weren't getting because it was so intimidating. And so, um, we were able to, the committee decided um, to create a while learn course and Kadra, um, who had a very successful run as a fabric and fashion member, chose to um, take that project on and do some amazing things with it. Um, and also poultry would be a comparable story um, last year when a lot of our in-person poultry clinics were canceled around the state. Um, we started this as a mechanism to fill that gap for poultry knowledge last year. So these are things that I started last year um, and just time management is a struggle as we all know. Um, so it's been great to have these two taking the weight of those projects off my shoulders and then also rolling them out um, in a much more timely manner than what I could do by myself. But I think it's important to notice the, um, those two courses, the Zoom groups that we call them, um, we have an enrollment of almost 200 young people from approximately six different states. Um, so we're reaching a very wide audience um, on the backs of these two young ladies that have been doing all of the work there. Um, I want to take a quick moment and Kylie, um, because we're this hybrid model, uh, do you want to tell us what you've got coming up when you get to come in person after graduation? So I'm so excited to finally be back in the office and get to work with kids directly. Um, what I've got planned is quality assurance. We're, I'm going to be teaching that on June 4th for our kiddos um, to learn some of the do's and don'ts of how to take care of an animal and what we need to do in order to make sure our animals are healthy. Um, I also have an avian bowl group or a contest that will be taking place at Showcase Showdown. Um, I'm super excited for that. And I'm really excited to see those kids that have been a part of our Zoom and on our Canvas course finally be able to exhibit their skills and the knowledge that they've learned through our course. Um, I'll also be helping our horse judging team, which will also compete at Showcase Showdown, um, as well as helping with some horse clinics that um, we've done for several years but really took off last year. And I'm really excited to get back in the arena and help those kids. Um, hone in on some of their equestrian skills. In addition to that, after Showcase Showdown, we'll head on over to State Shoot, and Kadra and I will both be learning about the new scoring system that they're using to get those scores in and run that um, whole event. So we're super excited to get in person and get going this summer. Kadra, do you wanna give us some examples of what you'll be doing when you get here next week? Yeah, so um, I am working on a showcase showdown um, workshop as well. It'll be Project Runway. Um, it's going to be a trash and show. So we're going to take recycled and um, like trash bags, stuff like that, items that you definitely would not wear as clothes um, and get creative and create outfits and model them as well. And I am also um, working on some shopping trips to help our county girls um, learn the ropes of buymanship and um, have people to shop with because I know I love shopping with other people and it's um, great to have other opinions and people to take pictures um, of you for your book. Um, and then I'm also working on um, some in-person clinics. Uh, so that's what I have coming up right now. Excellent. And I'm going to throw you one last question that you have to answer off the top of your head. Um, since this is airing to extension educators across the state, um, and if they're on the fence about um, AmeriCorps, what would you tell them about your experience so far? 
Um, so AmeriCorps has been really awesome to work for, and um, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Um, it's allowed me to work flexibly while being a full-time college student and a rodeo athlete um, because that takes up a lot of my time. Um, it also allows me to have an income as well as make an impact through 4-H, um, which made such an impact on my life. So I'm really happy to give back to the organization that gave so much to me. Riley, what would yeah. you say? <laughs> um, I would definitely second what Kadra had to say. It's been a great opportunity for me to get back and get paid while I'm help doing those some of those activities that I love to help with anyway. Um, for me personally, I'm working at the college also. And so because of the flexibility that has come with this position, I've been able to sort out both that, um, that job, this job, and as well as state office that I recently retired from. That was a huge um, gift to me to be able to work this job and make it flexible around that schedule, as well as my um, time as a student. It's been really great to have that flexibility. So um, thank you guys very much for joining me tonight. And we look forward to seeing you in person this summer.